Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft video tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about how to retrieve the data from database and how we need to pass that data to our test cases using Java with Selenium. Okay, so basically we maintain test data in Excel sheets. So or in class files or in XML files. Instead of that, we'll maintain this test data in database and we'll get the test data over database and we can pass over it to our test case. Okay, that is our agenda in this video. Now, let me create one class, new class, JDBC Gmail login test case. Click on it. So before that, we need to add all Selenium jar files. Okay, so let me write the main method or if you want you can execute from testng as well now first write uh, first launch the browser so here already i have the code to launch the browser control c yes control v now driver dot i am not explaining with any framework level just i am writing the hard coding code so driver dot find element by dot id email so in real time we need to follow all we need to maintain the reusable functions in one class file and all these xpaths web element identifications like id name xpath cs selectors we need to maintain one more file that is we need to make our test case very independent but here i'm doing it in hard coding every in, in single file so this is web element what is this web element username web element now first username dot clear username dot send the case so here i'm not doing any validations i'm directly writing the code okay so we need to do a lot of validations we need to do pre and post validation but i'm not doing any validations i'm directly writing the data but here instead of sending the username directly here instead of getting the username from excel sheets we want to get the data from where now database let it be as of now driver dot find element by dot id that web element this next web element is having id as next if you want you can directly write here click next let me write red dot sleeve for two seconds synchronization here i am writing as of now red dot sleep so a lot of ways there four ways are there to implement synchronization implicit weight explicit weight red dot sleep and blue and white next to driver dot find element by dot id password dot clear and dot send keys here i'm hard coding directly i'm writing i'm not following any standards here just i want to show you how we need to get the data from database and how we need to pass over to our test cases find element by dot id so my id is sign in dot click after that i want to see the output ask them to wait for red dot sleep red dot sleep eight seconds so that we can see the output after that with the browser now select hard coded ramesh soft dot selenium at gmail.com and i'm writing the password as ramesh soft let me run this program run as java application See here what happens. This browser is launched, it's maximized, it's entering URL, yes, password, and it's waiting for three seconds, and then it's entering, entering password, and then I kept thread dot sleep right, it will wait for eight seconds, and then it closes the browser. That's what we are doing. So basically, in our program here, I am hard coding the values that username and password, but in real time, whenever we are using Java with Selenium as a, I mean, automation tool. 
we need to get this test data from either excel sheets or from class files or from xml files but uh, what we'll do is we'll get this data from database now this uh, username and this password okay so already we know in how to what are the standard steps to connect with the database now i think already in previous video we discussed about the standard steps to connect with the database right now these are the standard steps to connect with the what database so first we need to load the driver class and we need to get the connection object and then whatever the operations we want we can perform on that once the connection is established right now so let me do copy this code control c now see here here i am getting the username and password so which username i am getting ramesh1894 so before that let's see total select star from gmail login now let me remove this all those things are not required so people who don't know how to connect with the database please watch our previous videos because we discussed everything in detail now let me run this program run as java application so that we can see total see here one second let it run so it's launching the driver because in 3.0 version firefox driver is running over gecko driver so compulsory we need to specify the path of gecko driver yes now see here now see here so these are the data available in my table see here ramesoft dot selenium is a username and password is abc123 ramesoft8914 is a username ramesoft is a password ramesh 80 btech is a username ramesoft is a password right so i want a uh, first one now see here so we can get uh, this one basing either string format or index format now let me write first one now let me run this program so as of now let me comment this code let me comment out this code now execute our program run as java application index out of words of oh, sorry column 1 column 2 now run as java application now see here i'm getting the data or not yes but i want only first row only i want zero it row i mean first row so for that uh, if you write while loop you are going to get all those things so here what i am taking is i am taking int row count i am taking one variable int row count is equal to 0 now here i am writing row count row count plus plus so here what i am doing is if if row count is equal to is equal to 1 just to break it just to break the loop now let me run it so here i am getting only first row only first record see here here only i am getting ramesoft.selenium is the username and abc123 is the password now i want to pass this one to what my test case actual my test case so these are local variables right so i am declaring where inside the while so the scope is what inside the while only i want to make it declare as a global variable so just observe here string username and string password right control c go back and it here declare string password and this string username now i can use inside the main method here now let me remove this
so my username password is there in in this two variables now i want to pass this username password to what my actual test case my selenium test case just observe here so here i am maintaining the data in where my test data in database and then i am passing it over to my test cases now see here okay now just observe here what i am doing so i don't want to hard code these values i want to get these values from where database where my see here here i am getting my values from database or not where all values are there first record values in this username and password so just pass over it here so here i am passing username why it's giving error initialize yes so already we know that for local variables initialization is mandatory so whenever we are using local variables compulsory we need to perform the initialization otherwise we are going to get compile time error equal to null then c equal to null so now for my gmail login test case i am getting username password the test data is from where database and then i am passing it over my test case just observe here just up over here now let me run this program run as java application now see here my username is ramesh soft dot selenium password is abc123 now the browser is launching over keko driver yes gmail is entered username is entered yes password is entered now have you observed see here so i am getting this username password from where my database see here so let me explain this code one more time so already we know the standard steps to connect with the database so in this gmail login table i inserted some data regarding username and password and here i am using the table and i am passing my username password to my test cases by getting data from where database so already we know how to connect with the database so we are getting data from the database and we are passing that data to our test cases so this is a sample how we need to maintain the data in database and how we need to pass that uh, database data to our test cases but actually here we maintain the test data in where database so this is a sample example to use database for test data and how to pass the test data to our test cases thanks for watching the video have a good day boss